So, welcome to the Centre for Human History. I'm Phil, I'm here with Adrian, and we've got an interesting toy to play with. What have we got, Adrian? So this is the Colour TV Game 6. Uh, quite an important little machine, as it's the first Nintendo console ever made, and it's also the first colour console ever made. You say it's Nintendo, but I don't see a name on there anywhere. No, it's done in collaboration with Mitsubishi. So the Nintendo name is on the box, but it's not very prominent. Mitsubishi, not a name I'd normally associate with video, video game consoles. It looks like a standard Pong machine. And that's pretty much what it is. This is the rarer white machine. This was the first model made. It runs entirely off of batteries. And it was apparently made for the employees of Mitsubishi as a Christmas present. Nice. Lucky people. Shall we uh, give it a go? Right, so let's give it a go, yes. So there are three games in all. There is a apparently volleyball game. So if we start this off. Okay. And uh, it's quite a tricky Ooh. one, this, because it's got a Ball's going lot everywhere. of... Oh, my goodness. These are not standard Pong controls. They've, they feel very different. I, I think they are, rather than being potentiometers that you would have had in later Pong machines, I believe they are just switches. So they do the, make a nice little tinkling noise. At first I thought it was a ball bouncing, but uh, it's actually coming from a machine. Unlike later Pong consoles, this one you've got no choice but to play it with two people. There's no nice. one player squash mode like later Pong cons consoles had or later ones had a shooting game or something. This one you literally have to have two players. I will say the little volleyball net in the middle is an unusual addition. It is, I haven't seen it's that. It's not exactly an element of strategy, it's mostly chance. Yeah. It does shake things up a bit. I haven't seen that on any other console of. Do, yeah, I do want it. It's not, obviously not based on the standard Pong chip that every other man his dog was using uh, to build these things back in the day. And given if we've not seen it in any other Pong consoles or clone consoles, I'm assuming it's a custom job even Nintendo. I would think so. I don't dare open this thing up and have a look. <laughs> no. I think this console should have some kind of sound coming from it, but I th don't think we've got it tuned in right. So um, we are playing in silence. There is that weird little clinking noise, but I think that's coming from the, uh, the controls. Yeah. Oh, they don't move fast enough though. <laughs> They don't move very fast at all. This isn't Pong as most people would know it, certainly. So that's the volleyball game. Shall we see what else is on over here? Go for it. So we've then got like a... Ah, oh, no, this is Pong, I know this. So this is like a tennis game. As you can see, the score doesn't stay on the screen either. Uh, so it just oh. flashes up when a point that's is won. We must also apologise for the picture quality here. We've actually tried to tune a staunchly Japanese console into a... British monitor and the two aren't entirely compatible. We're very lucky we've got any sort of picture out of it. Especially after I tried fixing it. Exactly, yeah. It actually feels like if you move the bat in a certain direction, that's the way the ball goes. So if I stay still like this, and Adrian stays still, we... And I'm, apparently I'm wrong, it just went for no reason. <laughs> this game, man. So... There are various other things you can do with this. I, I can give you a smaller bat. You dick. <laughs> so, there we go. Oh, God. You've then got to, and then I can even this up by flicking another switch and making my bat <laughs> just as small. Better. Which is, uh, this isn't going to end well, is it? I think this no, could no, be. I've got oh, this. I think this yeah, could end six up points quite ahead. short. It seems so, to sped up. Right, so just before you win here, I think it's a good time to go on to the third mode, which is apparently uh, football. hockey. Oh, so, it's the blue. It's ice hockey. So it's a, a bit of a nice hockey game going on here. And we can add another gameplay element here, which is where the name TV Game 6 comes from, because we've seen three games. But if you play each of them with this switch up, Ooh. You then add a lot a of confusion. Bat. I'd like to so get which bat's mine. <laughs> yeah, so technically you have got six game variants. And um, I'm no better at this either. One more and it's all over. 
So yes, this was the first in the TV game series that they, a couple of weeks after they released this console, they then came up with the TV game 15, which I believe gave you about 15 different, more different ways to play Pong. Well, the clues in the name, really. The clues in the name, yes. And then, um, oh, so close. They sold about a million of this console and the Color Game 15. And then there were two more consoles, which were the Racing 112 that sold about half a million, and the Nintendo Bo Block Breaker, which is a breakout clone, which again sold about half a million. And the machines were all now relatively rare to get hold of in any kind of condition, let alone this white one. This is by far the least common out of all of the variants. So it's a it's surprisingly tricky to play. It is surprisingly a, tricky because it just doesn't play game. instinctively like we would. I can only imagine they received a lot of returns with snapped off uh, switches. Or you, you really do have the temptation to just twist them as fast as you can, yeah. but they don't go that at all. I also, I had a distinct temptation to throw the thing at the wall when it has. Oh, oh there we go. I'm coming, I'm coming back. We, I we have only need one more. There is one other thing we can do to the gameplay as well, which is speed it up. So Please we don't. flick the switch oh. here, and I think that did me more harm than you. So it's a little bit of a delay between oh, the surf. Oh, there we go. Walking out of nowhere. <laughs> so that is a. Uh, it's probably so safe. That, it's not to move at all in this mode. Yeah, I think you can just leave it there. Oh no, you can't. So that is the TV game six. It's quirky and a little bit unpleasant, but I can see how you'd have really liked it back in the day. Yeah. So, Phil, do you still enjoy dressing up as a nun? <laughs> I've got my cassock on under this. Uh... <laughs> do none wear cassocks or am I thinking monks? Habits, none wear habits. I think we're done. <laughs>